Is that one of the actors? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. All right, put that shit away. All right, welcome back to Death Pop, <laughs> where we talk about movies. And what else? TV shows. Hey. But today we're talking about... You people. <laughs> Today we're talking about you people. Starring Eddie Portland. Murphy, Jonah Hill, Nia Long, and what's her name? Julia. Lauren London. Yeah. No, Ju- what's her Julia name? Julia Roberts. Ju- no. Uh, <laughs> the mom. The mom. The mom. The mom. Nia Long. That's Nia Long. No, the white mom. Oh, the white mom. Yeah, Julia what? Dreyfus. I'm not like Julia <laughs> Dreyfus. Julia, <laughs> Julia Louis Dreyfus. As I was like, always, we got a nine spoiler and spoiler review. Okay. So right off the bat, who's your MVP? Not, the you, first time ever I have two of them. I, I'm going to go with one. One? Yeah. I okay. got one. Go ahead. Let's hear it. I'm going to go with my girl. Lauren, Lauren London. Lauren London. Yes, sir. She got a little thick with it, and she still look good. Bro, I'm just gonna say there was one scene with her ass, bro. It looked so nice. It looked so the, nice. The, I the, whole, one the, whole, the whole movie, bro. She mm, damn y'all. Y'all really no, 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 today, not, huh? She's not my Just to throw it in real quick. They they gave a little tribute to Nipsey Hussle. You yeah. know they threw his uh yeah. You know they threw him up in there. Yeah, well, I, honestly, I thought from all, f- like, the four main members, I thought she was the weakest. Really? Yeah, I thought she was the weakest. Who's, who's your MVP? My MVP, it was either between Lauren London or Eddie Murphy. That's And crazy. I really liked Eddie Murphy, so I'm going to go with Eddie Murphy. Okay, well, I'm going to go. I, I have two. I have Eddie Murphy and I have uh, Julia. Julia Louise. Yeah, Ju- Julia Louise. I thought the parents really <laughs> carried the show. Parents, yeah. I thought yeah, they, oh, yeah, oh the show, the movie. I thought they really carried the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, the movie. This movie is really funny. I laughed through the whole way through. The only bad part of the whole movie was the ending. I felt like it fell flat and it rushed the ending. Yeah, yeah. No, the yeah, end, 100%. The, the ending it. felt weird. They could have given it one, like another like week or two. I felt like this was one of the movies that could have been a little longer. It was already two hours. And it didn't have it, it could have been longer. I, I was. Longer. I was watching it last night, and you know, when once you start seeing it get towards the end, yeah. I like checked the timestamp, and that was at an that's hour it. and forty minutes. And I was like, "That's it." I was like, "No way!" There's still like thirty minutes left. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's crazy. I do think the ending could have just used a little bit more just to tie the. It just didn't feel like they didn't tie it in right. Yeah, they just they kind of just rushed so, it, rushed it, threw them in. Uh, what genre does this movie fall into? It's a rom com. It's a rom com. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I. That's what I considered. I considered it a rom com. Yeah. What else would it be? Well, a uh, lot a of horror. people. A lot <laughs> of people. Yeah, I was gonna say a horror movie. No, a lot of people. A lot of people on the uh, like on Twitter and stuff were talking about they didn't know what what genre it was. They're like, oh, this how? isn't a. I don't know. They're like, this isn't a rom com. There's comedy and there's romance. This is a movie trying to be a rom com, and I'm like, uh, well, I think. To be. I think what I, I kind of understand what they're talking about because I, I think they just don't see Jonah Hill as a romantic. romantic lead. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's because we don't see him in a lot of romance films. He, do, he primarily does all funny or he does or like the raunchy comedies. That's what yeah, he's yeah, known that's for. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Either that or the dramatic stuff with like Leo, yeah. you know. But you never seen him as a romantic lead. I, I can see why they they said that. And this wasn't like your typical ro- romantic type of movie, like a Hallmark Christmas type yeah, of the, crap. The, you the, know? the white people one. Yeah, the white people. <laughs> they threw some color in this yeah, one. Yeah, and I will say there you can tell. Do do not like this movie. Oh yeah, oh, yeah all yeah, the yeah. white people. The, the reviews are a little uh, are biased. Yeah, biased. Biased. They're, 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 they're a little like biased. You know? Yeah, <laughs> no, because I was thinking about it. Even as a like, we didn't have any Mexicans in there, but we so I could so relate. I was like, oh, this is funny. I get it. You, yeah, you got the yeah, jokes. The, you got the jokes for sure. I will say this all this tied a uh, man called Otto with an A minus for me. I gave it an A minus. An A minus. That's your letter grade. I'm gonna give it an. A. Ah, damn. I think I'm gonna get her an A. I'm a, I'm with Daniel. I'm I'm at a solid A. Guys, I, I will say though, th- yeah. this is this is number one so far of the year. So, so far so, of the year, this is number one. It's number two for me. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, I think the only reason one, why is because of the ending. Because of the ending, agreed. I think it, yeah, it could have yeah, been a whole nah. movie. That's like, why I didn't give it an A. Either. Otto had a much better ending. Oh, I had a good ending, but uh, the last five minutes were trash. But it's not gonna ruin the whole letter grade. No, it was more than five minutes. It, it was more than. The I last might, five I might switch it over. I just, I was thinking about if I should put it over or not, like a man called Otto, and yeah. I think I just felt more with a man called Otto. I think too, but like yeah. it's, it's so hard to yeah. differentiate it because it's. A sad movie against a funny movie. A funny yeah. movie. So I'm like, yeah, was this funnier hard. than what this was sad, you know? Yeah, yes, exactly. That's what I was trying Agreed. to figure out. And this was straight up funny movie. It was a funny movie. A lot of good jokes. What did you think about the pacing? Uh, like I said, uh, the pacing was great up until the ending. The ending. Yeah. I thought the pacing uh, was everything great. Everything was good. And I watched this in parts too. And I was, I, it got to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm just going to watch it when I'm doing something because I want to see what happens. Yeah. yeah and when, when the movie's got me like that on Netflix, I, the pacing's already like... Yeah, it, I, I, I would say for a Netflix special, they blew it out of the water. It wasn't a special. It was just... A Whatever the fuck <laughs> yeah, it was. Like. I know. We're all like saying Michelle <laughs> special. That's why it's weird when Whatever it's on Netflix. Fuck it, was. it came out on Netflix. This is one of their best movies that they've made. In, in a while. For sure. I, a, a lot minute. of people giving it shit, but it's mostly white people. How much do you think Eddie Murphy made off of this movie? Not that much. I don't... I think... You don't think he commands I a, think Jonah a, good, Hill. a good 10 mil? No. 
I think Jonah oh. Hill got paid the most. Yeah. I think it was Jonah, Eddie, and then Julia. I, I say Eddie between four to six million. And Jonah Maybe closer so? to ten. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie Murphy still got it though. He's funny. Yeah, I, he still got it. He still got it. He played a really good I believe dude, I believe He's one of the goats. That's how <laughs> you know like those dads are just like are strict, are mad ab- uh, at the world or something. Like he's just intense. And he got he got that he intense that, dad. Yeah, he played well, that mad at the world? I don't think he's mad not, at the not, world. Not not mad, no, but not like intense. World. I don't know how to explain it, but like he's like my dad. Really intense. Really intense. Yeah. You can't you can't crack a joke with them. I will say one spoiler when he was imita- imitating Jonah Hill. Oh, in the and car Jonah ride. Hill's like, Are you imitating me? He's like, No. Hey, yeah, I don't do impressions. Yeah, I don't do impressions. Oh yeah, no, I wasn't <laughs> saying you do impressions. I was yeah. just I was just saying you, you impressions. <laughs> yeah. All right, well since you guys already spoiled it, Whoa. let's just get into the uh well, that before, was the spoiler. before we get to the spoiler, <laughs> I do wanna talk about the sponsor for today's video is Desk Pop. Oh, Make sure you guys <laughs> like this video because like I said, Netflix movie uh reviews are doing pretty bad on the channel <laughs> but they're doing great on tiktok yeah yeah we, yeah we got a lot shorts, of traction like on, on the shorts yeah uh, the shorts I know, too I know. but make sure you guys like follow share this with your mima with one of your friends and let's get back into the movie review this is the spoiler section people if you want to watch the movie go watch it it's a good time yeah it's on unless Netflix, you're white it's i don't free. know how you're gonna feel straight up I don't no, know. it's true. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. You know, tell it, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how life is. You know, sometimes you get offended. <laughs> would you? Okay, would you say this is a movie that you would get offended at? No, no. I, I, I there was not one joke where I was like, I'm offended. Or, or I guess, I, what do white people say? Even, it's, even like the way. Um, Julia's character. What was her name? Yeah, she wasn't even offensive. Uh, in, uh, I mean, she was trying. She even says it like towards the end. Uh, she was just trying to learn about a new culture. She, I mean, she took it the wrong way. She spoke about it the wrong way. But I mean, she was trying. Do you think that's how white people act? Maybe <laughs> upper class. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, I can yeah. say upper yeah, class. Like, like she was. You know, she's upper class. You know, they had a, somebody who's never been around the culture or yeah, the, the, that kind of crowd. Someone who's never been around. You know. People of color. People of color. Mm, yeah, I agree. Something they're not used to. I mean, we saw the synagogue, the church they were at, and all white, not a single person. Dude, the, that first scene so, with yeah. them being in the in the Jewish, yeah, in the synagogue. In the synagogue was so funny. Yeah, yeah, that I like it because uh, you see everybody. I like how they go. They start with the shoes. They started with the shoes. They're just wearing dress shoes, yeah. and you go to Jonah Hill's wearing J- Jordans. Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> well, just to let everybody know, like what the movie's about. It's about Jonah Hill. He's a Jewish man with a podcast talking about the culture, the black yes, culture. Talk- no, I, well, I, yeah, I've, talking about culture. Yeah, he it? just he just he never says black, but he just says the culture. That yeah. culture. It's very we'll heavily, talk about heavily implied. It's implied people of color culture, but it's mostly black. Mo- mostly black. Yeah, yeah, it's all black. I don't know why we're acting like they're talking well, about yeah, Mexicans. I guess because his <laughs> his co-host is a black woman. Then we have Lauren Julia London's Lauren. character who they meet up in a very cute way, I guess. Yeah. Um, so pretty much Jonah Hill is a thirty-five-year-old guy who's single. He's he's having a rough mingle. time and ready to mingle. He's been ready, bro. His he's mom is trying to hook him. Up and I feel like that's my mom. Yeah, so like that's the that's the beginning, right? He's it's like a little montage. He's in his office job. He's wants something new. Obviously, he wants his podcast to pop off. Yeah, Yeah. I can can relate. We can all relate to that. He doesn't want to work in finance no more, and I don't want to work outside in the cold. And uh, you know, uh, make sure you guys follow because I don't want to. We need help, please, (laughs) please. (laughs) But yeah, he goes on a date and he's like uninterested because that girl is like, "What do you do for a living?" And I he, do a podcast. He oh, does, yeah, he doesn't bring up the finance. He just brings up the podcast. Yeah. Which I don't know how realistic that was. Maybe it's because that girl was like upper class. But whenever I go out with a girl and I tell them I do a podcast, they're always like, that is the coolest thing I've ever heard. And I'm like, yeah, well, thank you. I mean, again, it's the, the culture. You're, you're going to see like an upper class white girl who doesn't. Oh, you're right. I mostly talk yeah. to Mexicans. So I get that. <laughs> I guess we're not yeah, upper class. So like if he would have said, if <laughs> he would have led with, oh, I work in finance, that would have been a lot more yeah, interesting. Uh, probably, yeah. Because yeah. I do lead with that. When they, they ask me, my job. Well, I, work work finance. Finance? <laughs> I work in finance. I do work in finance. I know you technically do. Uh, yeah, I do. But there's no technical <laughs> thing about it. Yeah, um, I work for a financial. But institute. when they ask me what I like to do, it's the podcast. podcast. That's, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. If if it's something you enjoy and you're doing it, why not say that it's your job? Like him, he wants it to be his job. He wants it to be. He's yeah, manifesting he's, it. That's yeah, why he's I, I dress for the job I want, so I go to work <laughs> like this. How does he meet Lauren London's uh, Amari? Uh, Amari. Uh, um, Amir. Amir. Amira. 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 He meets. Amira because he's trying to get he, an Uber. He's he ordered an Uber who apparently 
is also a black woman who looks like Amira yeah. and also drives the exact same Mini Cooper. The yeah. odds. <laughs> and she got, uh, what was it? Doug, she, 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 got, she, got, lost she got lost with the, the maps. Yeah. Yeah. The she maps took her to, to one building job or something. she wasn't trying to go to. And he got in the car by accident thinking it was her. We've done, it was done that before in Rio. Yeah. Yeah. Me and yeah. Yeah. I've done that I've before. I've done that before too. I've never done that before. Get in the wrong I did it once and I immediately like jumped out I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me get out of here. Well, she thinks she's going to attack or she thinks she's getting attacked by him. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. She, she a white goes, man just getting in your <laughs> yeah. car. I would be scared too. <laughs> I mean, and then again, he just got in the car and he wasn't doing nothing. Yeah, but still, like, yeah, that yeah, no, that's creepy. Gets in yeah, your that's car, creepy. Like, that's yeah. especially in a small car like that. Yeah. There's a misunderstanding for sure. Yeah, but misunderstanding. But then he, the yeah. Riz, the Riz, dude. He so Whatever he's Riz about is. to get out of the car. He's showing her, you know, like, oh, this does look like you. And then I love the joke. He said, "It's a three twenty-three and me situation, but you're better looking." Yeah, I'm yeah. like, he just throws that in like <laughs> casual, like, hey, from three point range. Let me see if this falls, and it's good. It's good. I did think the dating montage was a little slow. I kind of was hoping we'd see him ask her out and yeah. Yeah. Instead, of just, instead of just going here i'll take you where you need to go and then hey i got a date yeah that was the one part where i noticed that i didn't watch i was i just yeah. let it play in the background yes. because yes. i was like oh it's not that interesting they're it's going on dates you yeah. know what you're doing it's funny because uh i saw the part where he gets in the car and i got up to warm up some food by mm-hmm. the time i turned around it was only like a minute it was yeah. already like there we were in no, together. Yeah. six months later yeah it was the, like six months yeah so I, I rewinded a little bit and it was like six months later they're already dating i was like oh yeah, yeah, see any of that. What's crazy? Six months later, he wants to uh, ask her to uh, marry him. Dude, he's thirty-five. He's got <laughs> no time. Yeah, no, no, yeah, they're, they're, I know, they're but on a time I, schedule here. Six <laughs> months, dude. Look, Did they ever say her age? I don't think they say her age. age. No, his is 35. Yeah, I know his is 35 for sure. Yeah. But yeah, his is 35. the funny joke that he makes that it's his grandma's ring from the Holocaust. Oh, yeah, the Holocaust. Because Hol- 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 it's so Holocaust small. Card. <laughs> He's like, it works every time. Yeah, and then she brings it up too. She's she brings like, it, yeah, but your grandma, the bed, she's it was like, like three, four. Yeah, they got married young back in the day. Yeah, of the Holocaust. It was a different time back then. <laughs> I was like, damn, just like that. It would have been nice to see them go on their first date, yeah. but it just kind of like... Well, we saw the first date. Did we? I yeah, thought they just talked about it. No, it was when he was wearing that tie-dye sweater. They, yeah. did, they yeah. showed the first date and then a montage of the and rest. Then montage. Yeah, okay, that's montage. what it was. The yeah. first date was a tie. That was a dumb outfit. Because uh, that was, was at the at the I shoe mean, store. Her, her outfit was a little stupid too. What's because they were wearing uh, like hype outfits, you know? Well, okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, but his, like, his, his what, outfit was mm, those I, outfits are meant to, her, yeah, they're uh, meant to be out there. Like you know, you stand. I would out. never. I, I mean, they definitely stood out in that little what was it dinner scene? Yeah, They had nice back and forth. Their chemistry was there. I thought they were cute. Yeah, dude, Eddie Murphy, bro. Eddie Murphy's character so funny he walks in with his um was it the george floyd was it murder no no it was another thing let me i'm I'm gonna bring up netflix because i do want to know what was the um (laughs) the t-shirt fred fred hampton so uh he was somebody that was murdered in the 60s or 70s so that's another reason these white people don't like this movie because they be throwing shade yeah they do dude eddie murphy's character throws shade all the time time. with the fred hampton shirt that and then when uh jonah hill brings up malcolm x yeah people people don't like people don't like this stuff yes i think white people get really they just well they're sitting at the they're sitting at what was it like it was like a little cafe like, right yeah, like coffee shop type like a coffee shop and yeah. he says oh this place got gentrified remember when this it used did. to be our yeah, place yeah, i talk about that be, all the time he's like i grew up here this is this is where we used to hang out yeah he's like this is where i grew he's up he's like now look at it look yeah. at it he's, and like, then, I'm, I'm the, he's like i'm the darkest brother here yeah bro he, <laughs> his kids are like well aren't you glad that they're like investing in us yeah, and he's like patronizing our patronizing establishment our establishments and, and he's like no <laughs> it was like no. Nailed to the no. I was gonna say gentrification is good up to a point. <sighs> Dude, I hate it. I it, gentrification you, is good up to a point because <clears throat> more money. So that's the only good part. So me, more money I, for white people. For white people? Yeah, white people well, are the ones yeah, that own. They, they're, they're the ones that own these stores, bro. They're the ones that come into the cities. My neighbor Felix. I'm bet you anything is not owned by the Mexican people. No, oh, it's but not. That, that, but we've known but that, that place was the, never gentrified to begin with. It is. It's a Mexican place. It's, no, it's That's, white people. Mexican. It's like food. the way I see it is it's like gentrified food. It's gentrified food, but the way they brought it up in the movie is that the place was like black owned before it became yeah gentrified, yeah. right? I, I think that's what it seems like, yeah, because I don't think black people would be selling this kombucha bullshit that they were drinking. <laughs> well, With did you guys bee. ever watch that show, uh, gent- Gentrification, whatever? On Netflix? Yeah, the, the, the Mexican yeah, one? Yeah, yeah I, I uh, He that. doesn't want to sell the taco place and they're making him? Yeah. That's pretty I, much yeah. yeah. I kind of hated that show. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was funny. When me and like my cousins go on vacation together, yeah. we have a rule for food. No white people food. We don't eat at chain restaurants. 
And if the restaurant has a broken register, that means the food's going to be better. If it has an iPad, <laughs> it's gentrified. It pretty much Eddie Murphy's whole goal this whole movie is to pretty much get Jonah Hill to stop dating his daughter. He, he's not preying on his downfall. He's participating. He's, he is 100% <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. participating to the fullest extent that he can. <laughs> well, first. first of all, they're cruising in the car listening to music. Oh, that part was so hilarious because they were listening to Jay-Z and they're like, yeah. who's in Paris? Uh, Pals in Paris. <laughs> Gentlemen. I, you know, all I know is that the vibe for this song is really good. <laughs> I really enjoy it. And then Eddie Murphy's character is like, if the four of us went to Paris, we'd be 75% of, of, uh, of, of, of the uh, people in Paris. Yeah. Yeah, people in Paris, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. And then they go to the um, to the barbershop. Yes, a crib. A home. crib barbershop. And, crib barbershop. He's, and Jonah Hill's wearing a red, a red and full red sweater. That, I didn't click that at first. I didn't like, click that at first either. Because I, I didn't know. I thought it was a barbershop until yeah, I saw yeah, the yeah. guys wearing blue. And I was well, like, oh, I thought okay. they were just wearing. So I didn't click it because they were just wearing blue because of the Dodgers. So for me, it didn't click because they were already in LA. So I was just yeah. like, they're just Dodgers. Oh, fans. No, 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 That's why no, I'm not it, in. As soon as I saw the, the color, as soon as I saw the colors, yeah. I knew. I was I like, oh, like, okay, you know, he's trying to mess with them. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to mess with them. Yeah. I mean, that's a little dangerous, but I mean, if you're an old guy from the hood, you know, you're respected like he was. You know, as soon as he came in, they're like, hey, everybody. Yeah, everyone knew him. Everybody knew. It was funny because he wore black. no, he knew. He knew. <laughs> he was just wearing a neutral color. Well, I, I feel like he already planned out his day. He's like, oh, oh he I'm going to do Absolutely. this. I'm going to take him here. And I don't I'm think go he here. planned that out. I think he saw the, sweat, uh, the sweater and he was like, you know what? I got a perfect place to take him. <laughs> Maybe. I think he Maybe. planned the oh, basketball. Well, I mean, if, if, yeah, obviously you're not going to know what he's wearing yeah. until, until the day. And until, you know until what? I'm going to say I, it's not believable that Jonah Hill took that pass, stole it, ran up the court and made it like, there's no way. There's and then no, no way. Not even that. There was just a whole montage after no, that. I can believe him. Like, I can believe him spot up, shoot it, make it right i believe yeah. that you, anybody can be a Just good a shooter defense. no like a good shooter like <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you know anybody can do that but him like doing the little and i'm like there's no way <laughs> there ain't no way my boy and then he he's like, like <laughs> i like how he was on live too he went live on oh yeah like, he went live Facebook like or whatever the fuck it was yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, it was just so funny because, like, Jonah Hill just looks so unathletic in that whole scene. Like, he was like, dude. He does. <laughs> like, come on. Come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? You're not man? keeping up with these guys. Yeah. There's no way. You know, I believe you being the guy in the three corner, like, spotting up, hitting yeah, the yeah, shot, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, You're but, not the guy chasing around, you no. know, taking the ball. Run down blocks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lock down defense. Yeah, I'm like, hey, no way. <laughs> Maybe the defense, who, who knows? I'm just saying, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. And then she goes to the spa, right? She goes to the spa with the with, with the mom. Um, Jonah Hill's mom. Yeah. Cheryl? Cheryl, Cheryl. 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 Sherry? No, Cheryl. I think it's Cheryl. Sherry. I think they call it Sherry. Shelly. 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 All these Fucking white people, man. Yeah. Sharon. Shelly. Yeah. Shannon. I thought, the, I thought <laughs> that was funny, too, because uh, you see the girl get taken first, the white girl. Yeah. While she's, she's on like, the phone, she lets the white girl pass. Yeah. What happened? Like, Did you not notice that? I'm like, obviously, she notices, man, but like, you don't understand with us people. Like, we just let it slide because we have to. Like, well, I'm yeah. not going to make a big deal. I'm not going to yeah, make yeah, a big yeah. deal. Especially, like, at a nice place like that. I want to come back. Yeah, I want to come back. Yeah. That's that's what like that's just what we gotta suffer through sometimes. Like yeah. sometimes I'll bring it up, but like sometimes like it's not a big deal, man. Like I see it all. It the depends time. on how bad it was. Yes, like, like, like if, if someone if they're gonna let someone slide by, I'm like, I'm like okay, that's whatever. Maybe they whatever, had an appointment. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not. Well, she said that. She said that. Yeah, but it was funny. She she goes up to the the receptionist and she's like, oh that that was so racist what you did. And the girl comes back wearing the uniform. So confused. She's like, what? The other girl comes back wearing the uniform and goes up to the next spot in the reception is it she's just going to work yeah. <laughs> she's like oh yeah i have an appointment my <laughs> bad <laughs> um the name's under cohen that one's yeah up. yeah and like cohen with the with the, with the c with the c well, we'll, we'll be out there you know yeah. she needs some air what was the sister's vibe what was she supposed to be she was a lgbtqt no i know but like like what was her role in the i think she was just meant to be yeah but she's there. like those one of those like emo you know like no. sad type of no, fucking no, no, she, no. Was she, was, she was just yeah, there she, was just, she had no facial expressions she never she was, just, she was never happy i think that's just her as a person not even as an actress a, yeah no, i think okay. that's i've seen her around i think that's that's how her she, vibe yeah her vibe okay i don't like it anyway like so it. then jonah hill goes and meets, <laughs> meets his suegros yeah and yeah. They're at uh, Dave's Fried Chicken or something. You know, he took them to Roscoe's Chicken and Roscoe's Waffles. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I don't know what it was. Well, it's because white people do. Sometimes even the peop the white people who are woke will go that extra mile. I'm like, you don't got to do, <laughs> do all that, bro. You don't got to. Take them to, like, to, to like a black-owned yeah. restaurant. It's yeah. like they yeah, take yeah, us to a taco shop. Bro, we could have gone to like 
Yeah. And then just yeah. starts, yeah. 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 Just starts yeah. ranting about Malcolm X. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, He's like, dude, he went off the rails. He yeah, went off the rails. I, I like that up to a certain point. Uh, it goes too long. The the Jonah Hill's character was just intimidated the whole movie by yeah. Eddie Murphy, bro. He was he was trying to be on his best behavior. Best behavior. behavior. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah. I like how he plans out what what he wants to say and it just goes off the rails. Oh, it just doesn't follow the yeah, script nothing, at all. Nothing goes. Well, I do think the most realistic from what's happening right now and like our lives right now happened at the dinner table because that reminded me of Kanye. Because you know there's a whole issue between yeah. blacks and Jews right now. Between Kanye and like how he calls out the Jewish system and all that. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, his anti-Semitic yeah, comments. And, yeah, yeah, his anti-Semitic comments. And it kind of showed, like, show, I think it showed through in the writing where Eddie Murphy's character brings up the whole, like they were trying to compare slavery, slavery to, the to the Holocaust. So the Holocaust, oh, Holocaust the is slavery. Scene, yeah. And then he brings up how, you know, Jewish people have like all the money and all that and they're yeah. like well off and we're not. Yeah. Pl- all that good stuff. Yeah, because then he brings up, he's like, oh, what did you do? What is your job? He's like i'm a podiatrist yeah. what was your dad a podiatrist what was your grandpa podiatrist <laughs> yeah. and i think i think that scene if any scene would have offended any white person that was watching yeah. i yeah. think that, that scene was the one yeah. that did it I, it's because they don't relate to it well for me it was it's that scene and the scene where amari goes off on shelly where she's like, oh, you're playing the victim. You're clutching at your pearls now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she needed to hear that. Yeah, but she needed to hear that. Wait, wait, what did he just say? Because you said something and I was going to respond to it. Oh, because the, they don't relate to it. I was going to say because oh. he brings up Eddie Murphy's uh, character, Akbar. Yeah. He brings up because uh, when they brought up the Holocaust scene, they're like, like 80 years ago, he says. And yeah. then they bring up uh, that... Um, the Egyptians. The Egyptians. We were the f- first, first slaves. slaves, he says. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, but that was like 3,000 years mm-hmm. ago. And then he says, for us, it was only two generations back. He was like, my grandmother was a slave. She was picking cotton. You know, I think the biggest, just to get a little political right now, I think this is what's dividing a lot of cultures is that they think they had it worse. When I think everybody had it pretty bad. Er- yeah. Everybody had it I mean, bad. the Holocaust I mean, was pretty bad. Slavery was bad too. Everything yeah. was bad, Everything man. Everything was bad. Look, let me tell you, man. Aryans and white people really got the got, got that's good. Look, but can we just agree? Like, can we just agree on that? Like, we got the shit out of the it, stick. It's always been white people oppressing. Yeah, oppressing. it's always been, my boy. Like, well, why? And, 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 yeah, everyone's just playing the victim card. Like, they're, you know, they're trying to tug at you. I mean, shit. instead of playing the victim card and being, uh, oh, we had it worse, why not relate to it? We're like, yeah. hey, you... You know, we, well, all, yeah, went, we like, all went through this. And they didn't bring I mean, up we anything. We went through it a different way. They didn't bring they up, went, yeah, yeah, they didn't bring up anything that happened to Mexicans. But like, as people of color, like we're like, oh yeah, like we know what that's like. Like we know what it's like dealing with racism. We know what it's like to you know being viewed as a biting your tongue and not not saying anything yeah. back because you can't. You can't. Because, yeah, yeah. You we'll be, be viewed you. as what they view us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like we can't, we can't especially ever like for me, like it, the scene where she's arguing with him in the in the kitchen. Oh, I'll call my dad's friend and we'll get you that job. And she goes, yeah. Are you serious? You're gonna call for a job i should have gotten five years ago yeah yeah, hey, yeah. Preach. like when i was working at the clinic i was at i was the only spanish speaker there yeah, only yeah. mexican there it is what anyways it is. i i did enjoy the dinner scene i mean she she burns his uh kufu kuk, uh kufi 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 because it sounds kufi. like goofy i think that's <laughs> what uh, <laughs> kufi i think it's called he's like oh kufi. this this one in particular is very special to me oh yeah my God. so they're muslims in the i, mean, the, I, in the sh- I in the knew movie. that was coming up that, that, that was predictable yeah oh as soon as yeah. he said it was a gift and he got it from somebody i was like something's gonna happen something's to gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> and I, uh, like how she brings up in the car later on she was like oh do you think i should frame it the last piece oh I that's have? such a white person thing yeah. to do man i was like oh my god yeah michael's like that they do good framing, even yeah. though it's a little craft shop. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, read the room. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I yeah, thought the, the parents room. really carried this movie. No, they, they were both did. really Yeah, funny. that's why I said Eddie Murphy was I, my I, MVP. I did love the back and forth between the parents, you know, cultural-wise. You know, they Culture, bring up yeah. different cultures. Different cultures and coming together. And, uh, it was really funny because when even when they were trying to plan the wedding, they had two different wedding planners. You know, the, yeah, the white people the wedding planners. And they, yeah. Uh, yeah, they had the cousin and the... And so the I don't want to I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. Throw them. No, no, it. no. So it's because it's, <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> it's a little bit of a sensitive topic. Oh, okay, but They're all sensitive, bro. This is gonna be a sensitive this, video. This, this movie. Is, this is one of those. Movies. I know. I know. No, no. I know. But like, just just hear me out. This movie came out at a good time, and we watched it at a good time because would you guys be able to marry outside your culture? Like with Eddie and Morgan. Why are we? What? Yeah, don't <laughs> exactly. That's why, why I didn't. That's, that's why I didn't want to bring it up. But like, he's Mexican. Oh, I wouldn't be. He's I, Mexican and she's she's American. I like, thought about it. It all depends in the scenario. Uh, to I just you know end up. I don't. I don't know. I've thought about it and I was like, I want to date somebody that at least knows Spanish. That at least knows Spanish or yeah, understands because, it. Yeah, so that they know how to communicate with my parents. I mean, they know English, but it's just it's easier to communicate the you know? thing is about me is my riz i don't think works outside my culture okay. the only girls that hit me up I was, yeah i was gonna say you also can't it's hard bro. it's hard flirting in english and it's 
and then in Spanish. Well, it's hard Spanish. flirting outside your culture because also like, that because you like the pegan. Everybody yeah, you, gets that. If I yeah, tell that to a not white everybody girl, gets that. Yeah, okay. You, but you if I tell that to a white that's girl, also a cultural thing. I feel like, like, like oh, do they hit you? And they're like, like what? Like, what? Yeah. Like, like, huh? <laughs> I got grounded. You're like, what the fuck is grounded? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I was just able to go out home. I also was able to go out, but I just had like a big old bruise. <laughs> 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 a little bruise. But yeah, I mean, dating outside your race or you know different culture. I mean, it's hard, man. I I'm Jonah you, you Hill. Even thinking about dating outside your religion, just it, we talked about it, that. it brings up yeah, complications they, 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 they as Muslim well and Jewish, and then yeah, um, Muslim and Jewish, yeah. and then black and white. Black I mean, and white. Just, right. Everything on top of something. And else. I've had it's, a girl break up with me because I'm not I'm not the religion. Well, well we talked about that. I remember, yeah. like when I was talking to Anna, she was like super Catholic, and like, yeah. I don't go to church and I don't pray. And I don't and do any even that. in the movie, um, he, Jonah Hill talks about it. He's like, yeah, I'm not super Jewish. I mean, I like I go by the faith, but I'm not like yeah. He's like I bake. Like, yeah. I mean, you can yeah, tell yeah, he yeah. was wearing then, Jordans. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he goes there. And he's like, "When did you become such a devout Muslim?" When they had their little argument. Because we had, like I said, we have a we have a good example of our, my, yeah. our friend. You know, like. You and know, I, dude, I saw that situation. argument happen. So w- when she like all of a sudden became Muslim, that literally happened with my ex. She was not fully Catholic until you then, got with her. And then yeah. and then something. No, yeah. well, not even so. Like well, as people, soon as she was about to break up with me, she was like, "Oh, you know what? I was thinking about it, and like we won't be able to do like Christmas or whatever you guys I, do well, and all that." I feel that up to a certain point. You want to date enough to be like oh i'm i see a future here let's start talking about you know yeah you, but she just like wanted that. a reason to break up well I, that might that might just be you but i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying Good you want to date a girl or guy or whatever up to mm. a certain point and be like oh you know i can start seeing a future yeah, yeah. and then yeah. and then that's when you start talking about all, all these things be like hey i think it gets to a point also of respect where if you're dating like just like an example like a super catholic girl yeah Yeah. or a super like a a jewish girl or something yeah i'll respect her religion and her views but just don't start forcing them on me don't try to put me down yeah but it does get to a point when you're so deep into the relationship and you're talking about marriage and spending the rest of your life together that at some point something's gonna give either their religion is really important to them or it's not also like in the movie i mean they talk about it a little bit they don't really go much into it but um it's the parents the parents are gonna start forcing you they're gonna start bringing it up at family events and they're like oh yeah what kind of wedding are you going to have? What kind of, who's going to officiate or in the future, what are your kids are going to be? Are I they going to be Muslim? Are they going to be Jewish? Well, or, that Shelly was cooler than Akbar when it came to that. When it came yeah. to like, yeah, oh, she was it's more, okay. Like, she was more open-minded. She was yeah. more open-minded, yeah. yeah. But I also think for Akbar, it was just more of a... Just being I, a hard I, ass. No, I think no. it was just more of a... The I, culture. I wasn't expecting, keep, yeah. yeah, I wasn't expecting a white guy well, to be my Well, he said that he's like, this is the last person I thought... Yeah. Well, the joke, I hate that they showed in the trailer because I thought it was one of the funniest jokes. He's like, so do you come to our hood and see all our food and girls yeah <laughs> often or whatever yeah. i thought that was so funny i'm like yeah man what are you doing <laughs> bro it's already hard enough for us bro like why are you coming yeah, why, why, yeah, why, yeah, why, 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 why are you guys coming and taking all the latinas bro it's already hard for me enough you're already taking like yeah i see all these posts about girls talking about like yeah i'm gonna just go for a white guy i'm like Damn. i'm on tiktok i see that all the time on I'm tiktok like like, like, like the ones that are like how am i supposed to explain that i married outside my culture and it'll be like the translation yeah, the for translation or like get bail and be yeah. well far, I mean, well, far yeah i'm right here baby girl you don't gotta go out your uh, yeah. come come to me. Come to me. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> right here. I'm, I'm open. Help. I'm open. <laughs> Easy there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just thought I'd bring it up because yeah. it was a no. It's a, a, it's a important a, conversation. A, yeah, it's a important conversation, especially it's, in the movie. Akbar okay. invites himself to the yeah, bachelor party. Oh my god! How pissed would you be if your father-in-law was like? I hey. would be really pissed, honestly. I think especially I'll tell the, the type of relationship they had at the beginning. Yeah, yeah of course. Unless I, it I was like Epi, like well, just not to say anything. Not to say anything. Not to say anything. I'm saying that. Jump to the just jump the gun. Me and Eric have already spoken about this. Okay, you stay away. No. No, no, uh, no, not, no, not no. to say like that. I'm talking about as a person, bro. That's what I'm talking about too. That's the type of dad that I'd be like, yeah, no, 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 but yeah, like yeah. you can come and like we'll drink because I know he's done no, to drink. That's, that's and he's a part of the He's not talking about Maria. He's talking about marrying. No, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 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 Hit me up. But I'm just saying that's the, that's the type of that's who I'd be cool with like that type of dad that like I know we've drank before and we get down when we drink Jonah, Akbar's not, yeah, Akbar's Akbar, not that kind of person no. he might be but he just was trying to he be was remember when he was talking to his brother like you used to be like that yeah, bro yeah. Yeah. I think that's what a lot of parents forget is that they used to be like us bro they used to party every weekend well, yeah, like that's what bothered me about Akbar's character is that uh, you were that guy at one time. Yeah, it was kind of hypocritical dating, yeah, about everything. Yeah, you were pretty hypocritical about everything. Like there was a point in, in time where you were the guy dating your wife. Yes. and you had to put up with her dad. With her dad, yes, I agree. Like, that doesn't mean you have to continue. That. He even talks about it at the beginning. He's like, "This is 
is your white granddaddy uh, coming, coming back, back to, to haunt yeah. to me or whatever the fuck he says. And it's not until... So I think that's funny that Mike Epps was in this movie. I, <laughs> dude, I love that all the, all these comedians were in there. We yeah. got uh, Andrew Schultz, uh, Mike Epps, uh, Andrew... Um, Andrew Schultz, I love the Andrew Schultz. Yeah. He had like and, two uh, lines. Uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. He was that uh, pro-Trump character, bro. I thought it was yeah. hilarious. Oh, yeah. Oh, the dinner scene was yeah, hilarious. The dinner scene was great. Uh, he taught me anti-vax and all that. And like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, bro. But while you're looking that up, I oh, did okay. love the D- scene. We had Dion Cole. When they were in Vegas and he was trying to act like he didn't do coke. And oh, they were yeah. like, hey, can you grab your coke guy? He's like, what are you talking about? I don't what got a coke guy. So like, yeah, the coke guy. That From last time. Yeah. <laughs> the last time, your, your dealer, the guy that sells coke. <laughs> yeah, okay, he, he, he comes. The coke guy goes there. He's like, look who I found. Yeah, the coke guy. Like, <laughs> and he gives him a, <laughs> fucking throws him a bag of coke. A full bag. Oh, full. He's like, oh my God. And then he vomited. Oh, he shit his pants. pants. He shit his pants. Akbar looks over and he's like, damn, that's a big bag. Imagine <laughs> you're hanging out with your father in law, and somebody's like, Remember when you, you shit, shit your pants? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the best part is this counter argument. It wasn't from the coke, it was from Chipotle. And was like, yeah, also, you admit to doing coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, <laughs> Got him. Uh, the coke thing but was Did you see who the coke guy was? No, uh, like, uh, the Mexican comedian. Um, is it? Esparza. Oh, I, forget, I think I, know I forget his uh, full. I only saw him from behind. Yeah, I, I only saw him from face. behind. I no, see you face. see his face. No. No, I don't think you ever see his face. You see, like, the side of it. Coke guy right here. No, he yes, doesn't imagine. Feliz, yeah, Felipe Esparza. Felipe I know Esparza. who that is. Okay, you know cool. who that is, right? The, yeah, yeah, I just didn't see his face. I saw him from the side. No, you, you do see his face. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm just saying, bringing out all these comedians, you know, <laughs> yeah. Eddie Murphy has, like, these group of friends, and I'm glad he brought them in the movie. Yeah, there yeah, he like Dion Cole, the the fucking party planner. Yeah, I was gonna text Mario and be like, "Hey, you should watch this." Andrew Schultz is hilarious, but he's in the movie for like two minutes. Ten seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> it ended the movie, but it's hilarious. His <laughs> speech and everything, bro, yeah. is funny. Oh yeah, that, the movie was good. I, I liked it. But just to wrap it up with the ending, it did feel flat. The reason why it felt flat is because they broke up, right? They were they, they broke finally up. decided. So yeah, the last part of the movie, they have their rehearsal they're, they're dinner. In the rehearsal dinner, and they snap. They both snap at each other's parents. Yeah. So he goes up to Akbar and he goes, "Hey, I'm I'm just tired of it. I've been nothing but respectful for you. I don't know what it is you want from me, right? Yeah. And, and I thought that was like I I thought Akbar was gonna be like, react oh, good. You, yeah, You're react right. good. I thought this I was, what be like, I was waiting for. Yeah. I wanted yeah, you yeah, yeah. Yeah. back yeah. and you did it. And he didn't. He was just like, okay. Yeah. And, and then, then on the other hand, it's the Amira goes up to Shelly and she's like, uh, you gotta stop playing victim. You've been treating me like I'm some toy, a toy that you can yeah. parade around. I bet you're telling your wife friends, and I know she is 100. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I got a uh, daughter-in-law black. that's black. My son's black. dating a black girl. My grandkids black. are gonna be black, you yeah, know, like yeah, all yeah, that, yeah. you know. And like, I do feel like white people sometimes, like, oh, yeah, she, they um, have a token friend or something like that. Just in yeah, yeah, real yeah, life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I got man. a Mexican friend. And he, yeah. he cuts my grass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, that happened in like, the they beginning. Bring, they bring up some bullshit like that. When she was talking about her cleaning lady, she was like, "Yeah, we're like friends." And then the daughter's like, "Guatemalan, yeah." And then I'm sure she doesn't drive all the way over here just to be friends. But anyways, continue with the. Yeah. So well, she snaps. They, oh, she, yeah. They she both snaps snap like they, that. They yell at each other and she says she can't handle it. She can't handle both families being culturally different and well, not being proved by one another. Well, no, she gave up. She, she gave, gave up. Both she gave up. up. I know, but she said it. She was like, she I don't, don't want to. like, I can't handle it. I'm I can't handle it and I don't want to yeah. fight for it. it. Yeah, and I don't want to handle it. Yeah. And then he just agrees. He's like, okay. Yeah. I, I thought, you know what? I think he just agreed because she said it first. Yeah, because she said it first. Yeah. I think he was yeah, going to fight I, I for it. I feel like he was going to try to fight for it. Say it, but yeah. try and figure out a way yeah. to yeah, get through I'll, it. And then we get another time. And then we get another three months where he's he's doing a little bit. So apparently, yeah. And now he's signed under uh, Complex. We see that, which is really cool. And then he talks about this co-host, what was it, Mo? About yeah. what they said earlier, that white people and black people can't be together. Yeah, they can't coexist. They can't coexist. Finally. Like, yeah. It's and, two and, different worlds. And he, but he finally agrees with that. two different worlds. And uh, he agrees with that. And, uh, and we see a, that his uh, mom is listening. And the dad. And, and the dad, Akbar. Akbar is with his brother. Imagine with his brother your, and, your father-in-law still listening to your podcast. Yeah, it was cr- ex-father-in-law well, well, at that point. He also brought it up that his, his brother is the one that brought it. He's yeah. like, oh, you hear that he actually speaks truth yeah he's like he speaks real no shit. no but that's what he's saying like the fact that his yeah, ex-father his, his ex-father still listening to, listening to it. It. i like, thought it was funny that he still had the, the phone number shelly's phone number because yeah, yeah. Funny, he's like shelly Cohen. oh does he do that i didn't yeah. notice that yeah, 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 yeah. your attention to I, I, I noticed he, goes, that he goes to the phone akbar calls shelly oh no uh, akbar's brother right before that is like you said oh, yeah, he's, he's like, telling him he's like hey bro you know, he pretty much called him treated a him like shit. Yeah, yeah. He was like you treated him like shit. He he says it. He was like, way back then, this is stuff we used to do. They and now you're treating him for sh- 
Like shit, he's like he does cocaine. Okay, cool. You he did, did that it back too. then. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not like he's a coke addict that does yeah. it every weekend. He exactly. probably, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He it was said a bachelor. It, he even yeah. said it to him. He was like, "It was my bachelor party." Yeah, man. he's like, like, "You at a bachelor party, you do weird shit." Yeah, he's yeah. like, "We went to a strip club. We were doing coke. You did yeah. some weird shit." I mean, yeah. no, but then heavy yeah. drugs. I mean, that's a little well, different even, than uh, what we do. His, his uh, brother's like, "You saw him uh, shit his pants." He's like, "No, that was from the last time." I was like, "Okay, yeah. so you didn't see it. Yeah, you heard about it." So it's like, like we've all done crazy shit. Yeah. So then that kind of is like where the light bulb like, comes yeah, on. He realizes he's like, okay, maybe I was a little tough, super hard, super and hard. And that's what I'm talking. Yeah. The ending oh. just fin- wraps up so fast because it goes I, from I, that. It goes from that to them getting married. Them getting much. married to them getting married. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. They meet up and then they have the reception, like the wedding, right, right there, right, right then there. And there. Well, yeah. yeah they well, walk they, in. Yeah, yeah. That's they had the well before that. The parents apologized to each yeah, to each one. Yeah. And then they were like, oh, we have a little surprise, and they walk into the fucking wedding. How? This would you be so this is six months after let's say three, you found three okay months, three months after all right maybe maybe you, maybe you pay talk attention to, to the movie bitch maybe you start <laughs> talking to somebody and then right away you this happens to you and your parents set up a home so like yeah. wedding and wedding stuff. so yeah. like, uh, uh, let's uh, look at the house also, timeline you, okay before we bring it up the the person that officiated was a rabbi yeah yes. they had talked about being a the muslim muslim yeah. yes. iman, the iman. i noticed that too Oh. I was like, what? They went with a rabbi and they yeah, just yeah. didn't bring it up or anything. Just I was kind of hoping it would be one in one, like one in one. That's like what I thought it was like be. a rabbi and a yeah, yeah. but I guess they went full rabbi. They full went rabbi. full Jewish. I feel like because they did the whole. Um, no, no, you see the you, you can see like that they did like a little bit of both, but yeah, they yeah. did throw in some Jewish uh, mm-hmm. traditional wedding w- wedding stuff. Wedding stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, real quick, a uh, little quick rewind. Whole timeline. Within nine months, he got with this girl, proposed, proposed got engaged, a, got engaged, split up, got back together, got married. Within nine, nine months. months, you're right. It Dude, is that's crazy. I, I was also gonna say like beat out Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, Eric's not married yet, so uh, we're going on like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he married her within like six months, which is er- er- engaged. With said. Her. Yeah, nine months, <laughs> which is said. like super quick. I mean, even the cultural divide or whatever. Yeah. That's, what was it? That's the- super quick. But then again, like we said, he's 35, my boy. Like he's, he's on a time clock. It's definitely a movie we recommend. Yes, I definitely watch it. I don't see people getting mad at it. I, I don't get. I don't, I, see I, people, I don't see people of color getting offended or mad. Yes. yes. If you watch this podcast. For some podcast, reason, you might get offended. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah. If you watch this podcast, I don't see you getting offended. Yes. There you That's go. what I was saying. Thank if you watch this podcast and get offended, <laughs> look, man, maybe this podcast not for you. Because we do. <laughs> no, don't say that. We're gonna lose like a hundred. Can you imagine, bro? Then imagine this video comes out and we just drop it. Out. And I'm like, damn, we had that many white supremacists in our. Uh... Why would they be watching in the first place? Yeah. I don't know. Just they want to keep tabs on us. Like... Sometimes they be praying on your downfall. Yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. That's true. Like I want to see them fail. <laughs> oh man, great movie. Yes, a great movie. Uh, top one for me. Mm-hmm. Preach. It's been but a good uh, year. It's gonna be. It's been it, a good it, year. It's for already movies. been a good year. It's been a great start. Let great us know start. what you guys think of the movie and um, put and it down in the comments. If there's any other Netflix movies or like Hulu originals or anything like that HBO, that you guys want us to watch, uh, let us know. We're always we're always open to watching those movies. Well, we'll, we'll be adding everything to the list. Yeah, we'll be adding everything to the we'll list. See you guys in the next video, Dust Poppers. Yes, sir. Adios. Later. This is.